Cancer. And the last reading I did for you, I'll drop it right here in the eye if you missed it, but a lot came up about your finances. So as promised, I'm back here to dive deeper into it. My goal and my intention is to provide clarity where you may be experiencing some confusion. So if you have questions about your current state of your finances, your money, your career moves, all of that good stuff, make sure you stick around for your message. Okay, this is a reading for you. Um, of course, this reading is general um, for the Cancerian Collective, but if you do need personalized clarity and confirmation after you, you know, watch this reading to the end, I am offering, um, you can book a money and career reading with me uh, pre-recorded for 50% off, all right, with the code Money Monday, all right, Money Monday, you guys. The link is going to be in the description box below under um, special offers and also down in the comment section just because I feel like it'd be easier for some people to get it there too, wherever you can find it. Um, <laughs> you can find it and you have to use that link to be able to use that code, you guys, Money Monday, all right? Um, but if you have any issues, definitely don't feel free to reach out to me, okay? But my bad. Oh, for, I'm being rude, okay? Welcome, y'all, or welcome back to the Cancerian Vibe. I'm she, the boss lady B. Thank you so, so much for joining me, okay? You guys, but let's get right into, let's get into the nitty gritty of it. Let's see what's going on with Cancer, what's happening with Cancer's finances. Like I said, we it came up in the week ahead reading I did for you. And look at this. Here's this king of water. This uh water sign, you guys. <laughs> this this water sign, um, Scorpio, definitely heavy Scorpio cancer, Pisces energy. If y'all are looking for that love reading, um, I'll probably drop that tomorrow. So definitely make sure you come back for it. Cause yeah, we're gonna we're we gonna have to get to, <clears throat> to the bottom of that too. Cause I feel like definitely <laughs> the energy and I, I was trying to like let it subside, but yeah, okay. But anywho. Let's get into Cancer's finances, career. What's going on with Cancer's moolah, the money spirit? What's going on with the money, okay? That's what we want to talk about. Give us clarity on that. Clear and accurate messages for Cancer spirit. Wherever you have Cancer in your chart, the readings on this channel can resonate for you, okay? Cancer's... Current energy surrounding Cancer's finances and career spirit. What's going on for Cancer currently? What's the energy for Cancer? Energy for Cancer's finances. Interesting. So we have the Five of Swords that showed up. Mm. Okay, underlying energy of the star. So Cancer, I feel like you may have you're. I feel like you're in a state of reassessment around your finances. Okay, you may have felt like you made some type of major decision or um, major mistake. Honestly. Because definitely uh, mistakes, the card says mistakes, melodrama, reassessment. So I feel like there's definitely, it's like you're going back to the game plan, <clears throat> excuse me, around your finances. So um, that could be manifesting in different ways for, you know, the every cancer, right? This could look like um, having to kind of rework how you think about making money too i feel like that's how you're having to come it's like you're having to re-strategize how you make money so um where you may have you know work two jobs balance it here done something may be changing around that to where you're not going to be able to do that <clears throat> or something could have happened where you're gonna have to kind of like <clears throat> go back to the drawing board okay but I do feel like, too, yeah, because of this five of swords, there's a lot of, I feel like, mental conflict. A lot of, like, there's a lot. <laughs> Cancer, honey. That's why them finances came up in that reading so heavy because that's all that feels like is on your mind. Even though that, that water sign, 
been here and there trying to be in the mix, <laughs> them, them, that money, your finances, making, I feel like making a career move too, making some type of change. Um, that's what's been heavy on your mind. It feels very, I feel like there's strategy involved here too, but I, I want you to, while you're in this energy of reassessing your finances, you could be, let me, okay. Speaking of real quick, while you're reassessing your finances, you may want to like go back over your books. You know how people say that? I don't know how you keep your money. Um, I don't know how you look at your money, but it's like, go back over your bank statements or I don't know. I'm feeling the spirit of refund or like there may be some mistake. And yeah, okay, y'all. Somebody got a mistake in some money somewhere, okay? So it's like, go back and do the math. You know, and the and the craziest thing, the, the scene that came to me, everybody ain't gonna know this, but hopefully, if you know, you know, maybe this is just another confirmation for you, but if you watch the show Girlfriends, um, and Maya, she had, like, she had her little checkbook or her little, you know, the little, what you call it, the register for your checks. You know how we used to check uh, balances or whatever, and she had mismanaged the math, and her son looked at it. And like recalculated and show her like, oh, you actually got more money than you act than you thought you did. And I feel like that may be <laughs> that may be the situation, honestly, here for cancer. Like right, somebody needs to reassess some bank statements or reassess the situation because you may actually have more than you thought you did. And that can that really makes sense with the energy of being this moving into um uh, to Virgo, okay, so yeah, go back over the details, pay attention to the details on something. Pay attention to the details around your money on something, okay? Go back through them bank statements. Go back. Whatever you're reassessing with your finances, I would say definitely look at it with a different eye. But don't let, don't like overanalyze it to the point where you driving yourself crazy. Definitely, if you got to, give it to somebody else. Give it a different eye. Um, Get a different look. Get a different opinion. Somebody may even be thinking about that. Getting some type of like CPA or something. Um. You know, just someone else to help you with your money in some type of way. But yeah, I had to say that. I feel like I was telling y'all something before that, but that was just more, definitely uh, more important. Um, maybe I was telling y'all that even, okay, even, yeah, even while you're in this uh, time of strategy, I feel like definitely, okay, cancer, ooh, spirit is lighting up, okay? Listen, because you're getting, you're getting a lot of... I feel like definitely clarity uh, downloads around your financial or uh, career situation, okay? Um, a lot of things are coming back, I feel like, to your mind too. And you're needing to... You're needing to have, you're needing to kind of stay positive and have hope around your financial situation. It's like, even though, you know, you may, you're playing, you know that saying, um, chess, not checkers? Yeah. You need to be thinking chess-like and not checker-like. Take that how it resonates. But two, I feel like have a little bit more faith in your money. But it feels like with this energy, the star showing up as the underlying energy, it feels like you're going to feel more fulfilled in your money. I feel like there's going to be more fulfillment, more... Um, especially if you felt like you made some type of mistake or misstep. It's like, but this is really just a good energy of just kind of getting reorganizing um, matters of money, career move or whatever. It just feels like a very great time of strategy. And you see how it's like lit behind her. It's like she's getting, she's like, hmm, you know, that's exactly what she's giving. Like, okay, yeah, this got knocked over, that got knocked over, whatever's happening in chess, but hmm, let me, like, I'm gonna make my next move my best move. I can strategize that. And I'm getting some type of, I be like that, let me say it, in public. And people be like, what's wrong? It's almost like, you know how that's so Raven be getting a, a uh, 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 like a premonition. If y'all ever watched that, so Raven, and it's like she did this like jerk to go to her, whatever. It's just like that. I feel like there's <laughs> there's gonna be some type of tail, a physical tail, um, in your body, and yeah, you're gonna be able to tell that you're like gravitating or getting some type of um inspiration spiritually or just there's just some type of download around your finances some some reassessing okay somebody may be trying to reassess how they're gonna get their needs met or meet their needs to it's just giving very heavy strategy heavy strategy heavy strategizing for cancer um 
You know what's so crazy though, y'all? Hold on, because I never... Where is this? For some reason, I'm, I'm being called to like read the message, the additional message for the Five of Swords. So, and look, we go right to the swords. Now let's just get to five. Let's just see what this, um, the God book says for it, okay? For some reason, because mm, I'm, when I say I quite literally probably never opened this book, crazy, okay? But the path that you are on seemed like the right one. But now you've run into a challenge. It doesn't look as though you'll be able to continue without making some significant changes. Trust that the difficulties that you're experiencing with your plans are simply signs from your angels that there's a much better direction for you. One that will eventually make you so much more happier. Okay, they want to see you see a larger and more divinely guided roadmap for your life. Negative people can be draining, y'all. And I just call 1111 as I said that. So pay attention, confirmation. Negative people could be draining you at this moment. The conflict they create makes it difficult to focus on your life purpose. That's what matters here, okay? And be happy in life. Make thoughtful choices about whom you spend time with. And y'all, that is so crazy because let me tell you, I was sitting over here, I was sitting over here when I picked up this deck. I really, when I first picked up this deck, I saw the card that Milo then ate in this deck, ate off a little bit. And I was so irritated by it, right? Now I'm not going to be able to find it. That's crazy. But no, because like when I say it stuck out so bad that it was irritating me. And I was like, did I take it out? No, because I wouldn't have done that. Because that's what I almost thought about. I was like, I just need to take this this card out because it's there it go see i knew the people you spend the most time with shape who you are you have to be so you do have to be strategic about who you connect with y'all you do um and i'm not saying be strategic as in um you know there doesn't have to be malice or nastiness or like let me look at see what i can gain from you like people think about it like that but that definitely shows a level of projection or whatever. But anywho, like I'm saying, it's like, but you do have to be, you have to be strategic and intentional about who you spend time with because your energy is so like, my energy can't be experienced by everybody. Okay. And you got to think about your energy just the same way. All right. Um, it's very precious. It's like a newborn baby. You know, you ain't letting any and everybody come over to your house and kiss on your newborn baby. Right. Only the family, um, uh, friends that are really close. Right. So you think about your energy the same way. And I'm not saying, you know, go into a, a shell and shut, shut the world out, but you could, there definitely, I feel like is a message around, Somebody you spending time with. Okay, but let me finish this and we're going to get into the reading. My bad. I mean, get deeper into the reading because, I mean, I've already been reading. Okay, make thoughtful choices about whom you spend time with. Are your relationships balanced or are you giving all the giving, Cancer? Mm. Are you doing all the giving? Um, the angel message says, first of all, breathe. Okay, unclench your booty cheeks and take a deep breath, Cancer. Perhaps your planning was not perfect, all right? Maybe you didn't make all the right choices. It's all right, because guess what? You learned. You learned a lot, and it will work out in the end. Now, let's just work together to turn those lemons into lemonade, all right? And that's what I'm feeling like, y'all, um, real quick, because in that message or in that reading that I did for the week ahead, uh, and I talked about how we're going to have this solar um, eclipse at the end of the week and how we, uh, cancers could be experiencing definitely a, a big transformation in regards to your home life, um, family, you know, the fourth house or whatever. And there could be a situation where it's very bittersweet that showed up the ten of swords, very bittersweet. Okay. It's like, you know, 
for some reason, like a, uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm not claiming this on anybody, but it just, this is how it could manifest for somebody. Okay. It's like, you could get this place from your house or something for some reason or whatever that seems very sour. So it's going to have you very upset. Right. Um, could be like a pipe burst or something but because of that it forced you to be able to go here or do the it's like there's a silver lining in what seems to be a bad situation like that bad situation is really the catalyst for your blessing okay so even even the mistakes that you feel like you may have made where you may have you know gone the wrong direction wasted time whatever it's like all of that can still is still is still and can be used for your benefit. Okay, the additional meanings of this card um, state that there are better op available options. Don't lose sight of the goal, y'all. That was definitely heavy in the energy. The overall, the target. Keep your eye on the target, the goal. Okay, um, difficult people. All right, that's five of swords. There could be difficult people around you. You could be the difficult person against yourself. You know, you can be your own worst enemy, okay? They was not lying when they said that. So you could be the difficult person, all right? Look at look in the mirror, all right? Um, but also, too, this may have been like a victory that could feel kind of joyless. Like, you may have experienced some type of victory lately, and it just didn't feel like victory, you know? It's almost like you got a promotion at work, but you don't really want to be at that job anymore. It's like you're being caught to something else. So it's like, yeah, woo. Okay, I got a promotion, but I'm still not happy. So I feel like, yeah, something's happening around your wishes kind of being fulfilled in that sense. So yeah, all right, let's get a little deeper into it for Cancer Spirit. Definitely, definitely could be the people though. Because when I say that's the first time, like that card really, really annoyed me in my deck. And it was like, it, oh, it just really, really annoyed me. And for it to be that card and it's talking about difficult people, okay? Because, you know, partnerships could be forming or falling apart, all right? So just be mindful of who you're connecting with. But let's see, what's what's the challenge that Cancer is facing? What's the, the biggest challenge that Cancer faces regarding their... All right, comfort. Yeah, you feel uncomfortable. And that, yeah, because this justice is almost like you're you're being nailed to the cross in some situation. You could feel like that in your work um environment or whatever. You could be feeling like you're being nailed to the cross. Like you could it oh y'all. Let me tell you, and this is confirmation for somebody, okay? Let me tell you, because if you ever work with me one-on-one -on -one privately, you know that I'm really passionate about what I feel like is coming up for somebody where you could be trying to make the transition from, you know, corporate world, which is nothing wrong with it, but to more so doing something independently. And um, it could definitely be that transformation could be uncomfortable, okay? Um, I just feel like... <laughs> Uh, okay, but I lost my chain of thought for real because I felt like I was about to tell y'all something really good. I mean, re yeah, really good, but <laughs> that's so crazy. But all in all, I just know that you could be in this time period of going from, it could feel uncomfortable as you kind of make this transition from doing something that you haven't done before. Um, and you could feel like you're making some mistake. That's what it was. Thank you so much, Spirit, for bringing it back around. Y'all, when I decided, when um, this is just a transparency moment, you know, I be trying to leave a little bit of personal personality or something in my reading so you can connect or like make it real. I feel like that's that's what tarot is all about. But anyway, um, when I decided to like move full time into doing what you kind of see me doing now, uh, there's some more things that I do behind the scenes and stuff. But when I decided to like really transition into doing this full time, there was a very tough period of where I was not comfortable and um especially bu like before i was like really trying to let go and see that this was okay maybe the path um i needed to take it was like i was making all kind of mistakes at work okay all kind of mistakes at work like i know my job left and right up and down it it's almost like i was coming into work and I'm acting like I'm new. Like I like it was crazy, y'all. Like I don't know how to explain it, but you could just be feeling like that. Like you're making a lot of mistakes at work. It's just not clicking. It's not working. And it's for a reason. Okay. Those are signs 
Those are signs and confirmations from your angels to say, move some, move on to something else. That's why I'm telling you, you can't get stuck on what it looks like or what it feels like when it's uncomfortable. Because that's where that's where we mess up. And we, we're like, all right, well... I just got to find, I just got to figure out to get comfortable again. And instead of like embracing that uncomfortableness and kind of learning from that experience, you, you can kind of miss it. So those are, those are definitely signs that are saying, you know, it's not happening for no reason. So if you, if you're experiencing that energy where you feel like you're making mistakes, you could be feeling like you're making a mistake by even going to work. You know, how, you're not supposed to dread going to work. Like I'm making a mistake um going to this job or whatever like that's a sign okay that's a confirmation for you right then and there all right but i do feel like um it says the car says though you're not exactly rich you will be living comfort comfortably and that's what i feel like could be kind of the issue right now for you too it's like yeah you're gonna be feeling more secure but it's like i feel like <laughs> And is there ever a point where you have enough? It's like you may still want more, right? But I feel like, honestly, the challenge is that you don't feel as comfortable, okay? Um, finances may feel like out of balance because you're having to reassess. So I feel like that's really the challenge, okay? Yeah, and that's what that's what has to happen. Like something has to be brought back into alignment in your life. If you're focusing, if you are in a place in a situation that is not promoting you serving out your life purpose, it's not going to work. And it and it's going to feel uncomfortable, okay? It is. And that's why I'm saying it's like something's out of whack in, in life and it has to be brought back into um, alignment. You want to definitely too. Also, that's what I'm saying, y'all. Go back over. If you do have somebody that works in your money, Go back over the books or something. I don't know. I'm getting like a very distinct energy about something with money being mistaken or messed up. Something. Pay attention to the particulars. I'm just going to say that. I'm just going to say that. So, um, because it could be even like a new situation that's happening with some. Because it's like you're having to reassess money. I don't know. I don't know what that's about, who that's for. But, yeah. <laughs> Check the books, Okay. Check the statements. Make sure somebody ain't charge you twice or something. Because, yeah, it just feels like there could be some mistakes around money. But let's see what advice what advice Spirit has for you. How do we overcome this challenge of being over uncomfortable? Uncomfortable for cancer. What is the advice? Uh-oh. What is the advice for cancer? So this is the second card. Okay. Mm. This is the second time this card then came out. Um, it tried to come out with the, those other two cards. So retail is showing up. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing retail therapy. And that's kind of crazy to say with Venus moving out of Leo. Because that more would have been the time where you would have been like extravagant. And wanting to go on like a shopping spree or retail therapy. Um, but you could still do that. But just like on a, like you may be more sensible about it now. Like where you may have gone crazy. You may be more sensible with it now. So definitely um resale therapy for somebody you 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 may want to buy yourself something nice somebody may be trying to strategize how to buy yourself something nice too um but somebody all right yeah somebody could, too could be thinking about how to sell something or like how to be a retailer sell something if you have an idea in mind this is giving you the green light that there is a need for it so it's like yeah if you're getting some type of hmm i wonder if i could do this or i should do that or um i can make this or like you're getting that idea for a reason okay and so you're saying like you have all systems or go you got the green light please proceed all right some of you could definitely, definitely need to consider careers in retail e-commerce, whether it's a good or a service. So you could be, you could have some type of good or service that you can sell. And you, that's, Spirit is saying that that's what you need to be kind of putting energy into to create the comfortable lifestyle that you desire. Okay. Save time, energy, and add passive income by taking your business online all right so you know there could be something about your business that you're needing to kind of share with the masses the under the underlying energy is this windfall 
And I feel like, you know, and, and that's already been confirmed. The overwhelm and plenty showed up in, in the reading. So definitely the windfall, you are about to receive a windfall or a, a money raise. That's why I feel like too, and this could be stemming from something that has happened in the past, like some type of past work that you've done, perhaps an old job or something. It's like, yeah, I feel, and too, for somebody, it's like this money is coming from something that could be old from the past. That's why I'm telling you to go back over your books. Because it could be like some type of large sum that's owed to you, okay? Um, because now money is in this positive cycle. Even though you may feel uncomfortable, money feels like it's in um, a very comfortable state for you, okay? So this is, with the windfall, this is the time to make that purchase. If you've been thinking about making some type of big, big purchase, um, this is... I feel like this is a green light for it. It's like strategizing how to make this. Yeah, but somebody's making something. You could be crap. You could be a crafter, like do some type of DIY or have like some type of product or whatever. Put it online right now, right now. And I'm talking to myself too, but put it online right now, y'all. It's like, it's on your mind. Like you're getting these downloads, these strategies. Like this stuff is just not popping into your head for no reason. I wish you knew that. Like, <laughs> I'm not, I don't, I can't fathom what your mind is thinking about. Like, there are things that come to my mind for me to create. There are going to be things that come to your mind that you're going to create and vice versa for the next person. Like, put it out there. There's an audience for everybody. And I think sometimes, this is just a side note, I think some people get caught up in the audience thinking that you have to, like, for you to be successful, that means, like, you have to have an audience of basically, like, everybody, which is not the case at all. All you need is some few fall, um, loyal followers, people that you connect and resonate with, and go on about your business, okay? <laughs> That's all you need. It's really, honestly, better that way, okay? So you ain't got to deal with all the rest of the mess. But anyway you're that's that's for somebody that's the tea for somebody you need to stop sleeping on yourself stop playing with these ideas and put it out there put it on the world wide web and let somebody because they already looking for you but they can't find you because you ain't on the website yet get on it when you get this when you get this little piece of change that make you feel like you know your money is coming back up in the world invest it in yourself Invest it in this online business. Invest it into being comfortable. That's why I feel like too. Yeah, you're gonna. You're, I feel like you're gonna buy something. This could even be where you're buying something for your home, like rechanging or redecorating your home, making it more comfortable, more homey, or something. You could definitely be wanting to spend money on that, <clears throat> Cancer. You could be, you know, wanting to like redecorate, refunctuate your house. It's like maybe your house doesn't feel you know, one way now and you want to make it more comfortable. Yeah. But anywho, what's coming towards cancer that they don't see? What's the blessing? What's coming towards cancer that they do not see, spirit? Uh-oh. Why is that the, the past one? That was the past that tried to fly out. And that's what I'm saying. I feel like you don't see. Um, it's like something that you didn't see with your money from the past. That's going to be the windfall. Literally. That's a, <laughs> and look, success will find you. But I feel like the money is going to find you. What's coming in for cancer? All right, so hmm, that's and and this is the energy that I feel like it makes sense with this prudence. Um, you could definitely be trying to strategize how to pay down credit card debt or debt. Um, being smarter or wiser with your money. That's what I definitely feel like you're you're reorganizing or re-strategizing your budget. And while I do feel like there's a need for you, I'm gonna say that. I feel like there's a need for you to splurge on yourself, but it's like you may splurge and then be very like, you know, I'm gonna do this for myself. And then after this, I'm going to be very strict about this budget I've set for myself, right? Um, definitely strategizing that I feel like like I said, um, using that money, that windfall that it feels like of money and investing in, investing it in something that's going to continue to make money for you. Okay. Some of you, yeah, it's like, you're going to have to re-strategize how to live within a certain budget. And I feel like you're going to have to write down this budget. Okay. Like literally, literally write it out. All right. Uh-oh. What's the outcome here for cancer? 
potential outcome for cancer in this energy with their finances spirit all right see that's um somebody needs to make beauty their business all right it's like you could be providing beauty services some type of beauty service or something like that um and and you need to invest it more into your your business or you know maybe you're buying the supplies for the business going and um I don't know. Investing it in the business some type of way. However you see fit, fit, okay? Embracing your unique style and owning it. I do feel like in this beauty card, I'm getting that energy of the can the um chariot and that rebel with the leather. I just feel like to your beauty, it's like um your beauty is attracting people. I feel like visually you're attracting people for sure. Your inner world must match your outer world for things to change. And that's what I'm saying. If your inner world, if you're going through this turmoil where you aren't comfortable with being uncomfortable, that's going to reflect out into your physical world, okay? But yeah, someone's um, making jewelry, you're doing hair. It's like any other thing that could be enhancing other people's beauty, beauty in the home. Um you're like you're getting more ideas around how to do that and i feel like you need to have faith in yourself faith faith that you can um be in the business world faith that you can be a ceo or a ceo whatever it's like you got to elevate your uh, elevate your mindset elevate your awareness and think bigger like if you want different results you got to think bigger okay you think you was thinking small, it's time to think big now. All right. Don't be intimidated to enter the world of business. That's what I'm saying. You know, um, it's a McDonald's on every corner and I'm a Burger King too. All right. I just want to say I'm sorry for all the food references. They just be the first thing that comes to mind. But anyway, it's like competition is what? It it really does not exist. I only compete with myself like because it's it's unfair. It's unfair to measure me against anything or anybody else because we're not the same. We are not equal. So run your own race, all right? I don't know who that's for, but it was for somebody. I'm just going to pull a card and see from this deck and see the energy that could be blocking, you know, because some people may feel like there's a blockage around their finances. What does cancer need to know about Money blockages, career blockages. What's going on for cancer? Oh, oh, oh. So, planetary positions. All right. There, <clears throat> there could have been adverse planetary positions that were affecting your success. And honestly, that makes sense. A lot was going on astrologically. A lot has kind of just shaken off with the retrograde. And then now we're moving into eclipse. So, honestly... <laughs> Um, <laughs> that's funny, but it is your free will that can diffuse the worst of the planetary combinations or trigger good results by using them to your advantage, y'all. That's why I'm so intentional on this channel and I be like tuning in and I'm coming and I'll be trying to give y'all the astrology as as well as what spirit be saying. Cause I'll be trying to give it well rounded. I'll be, I'll be trying. I really be trying. Hopefully, hopefully y'all be picking up what I'm putting down, okay? Um, <laughs> but I be wanting y'all to use the energy to your advantage, all right? One way is by doing good deeds to activate positive energy. So, um, you know, you may want to do something that kind of just promotes good energy into the universe. But I feel like, yeah, look, this block crown chakra is showing up as an underlying energy and that's going to be very crucial like if you if your crown chakra is blocked you're not going to be getting the downloads and insights and all that you need to kind of reassess and make the changes that you need that are going to help you be successful or start um you want to open up your mind all right you could be experiencing narrow-mindedness right now and um get out of your mind too if if you have like greed that's what i'm saying too. okay greed and materialism excessive egoism i feel like honestly there's an energy of like pulling out of that that's why i feel like this is underlined because that energy around venus and leo it's not greed but it's like kind of excessive or whatever right but it says to heal your crown chakra practice living a minimalist life use crystals or go outside to help you experience spiritual growth and feel more connected to the universe the rose quartz is a crystal that showed up for um would be a great 
crystal to work with this week cancer um but i was saying definitely like that's what i'm saying you you may have had to give up some things or whatever it's like you know living a very minimal minimalist lifestyle like you're having to re-strategize it's like going from a five-bedroom house down to an apartment you're gonna have to you know figure out some stuff reassess some things and you know to feel comfortable right and I feel like that could be happening. It's and it, it definitely gives that with the energy of prudent showing up, like downsizing in a sense, but downsizing to like upgrade. So don't look at downsizing as like a negative thing. Look at it as like um the seed for the bigger thing, if that makes sense. Let's just see what else shows up for cancer. Oh. Yeah, look, faith over fear. I feel like having faith over fear in, in regards to this um this business move that you may want to make, this career move. The money may feel tight to make some type of move because that's why I said I do feel like there's this energy of making some type of big extravagant purchase or maybe making a, a big investment. And it can feel scary to spend like that much money at one time or something. But it's like scared money don't make money. I know, listen, I I even recently just had to kind of re I had to um get in my head and kind of fight the thought because you really, really this mind stuff, y'all, this mind stuff is for real, okay? But you really do kind of have to elevate your thinking and you know, it's like you even okay this is what i am getting to y'all because it's like you could you, it's like five star you know you could be used to five star and then having to like scale back down to basic economy okay that's how i can do it first class and like basic economy or whatever it could be like an adjustment or whatever right um <clears throat> but going from basic economy to first class it's like you're gonna have to kind of step out like just you know, kind of just try it. Um, and I feel like definitely, yeah, with the energy of I love money, money loves me. That's that law of attraction. You want to be mindful of how you feel about your finances. You want to have like, you need to seek inspiration around your finances. Okay. And I feel like also follow your heart. Do what you love in regards to your career. You can't go wrong when you follow your heart. And um, let your heart lead you in regards to doing a good deed for someone, too. Um, one more for cancer here. Uh -oh. One more for cancer. Yeah, okay, so look, hired, offer of employment. But see, that's what I'm saying, self-invest, invest in self. I feel like someone's get it's crazy because I, I definitely feel that heavy for somebody. You are getting a promotion or you're getting a new job offer and something that, you know, you've been doing for all your life or whatever. But I feel like you're going to decide to bet on yourself, invest in yourself and move a different way and build something build something for yourself but if that's not your choice you know of course i'm um, assess it for how it resonates for you but it does just feel like that could be the um thing somebody could be trying to reassess how to like pay down some debt to like get to a place where you're debt free feeling more comfortable a message of abundance so look take a divinely guided change and yeah, you're being divinely guided. All positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk. All of them. And risk is uncomfortable, okay? Every every person that has ever been successful, they took a risk, all right? And you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories, all right? As you leave behind that which is comfortable, y'all, like literally, okay? Okay. Um, you leave that behind, which is comfortable and familiar, but no longer appropriate for you. All right. You make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. All right. So yeah, something had to get realigned. It's out with the old in with the new. It's divinely got it. The planets are changing. The world, the axis <laughs> is changing because the, the, um, and look, literally declutter and y'all, I literally just said that the world axis, it's like the, the weather is changing around the world. I had referenced that in the last read. Okay. 
<laughs> You'll feel better and more focused if you take time to clear away clutter from your living and workspace. So yeah, it may be time to kind of clear up your house. It may be time to, you know, rearrange feng, feng shui. Donate what you can to help others who may need your items. Be sure to keep what your keep your schedule uncluttered as well. And definitely I'm feeling heavy on donations too. Like that can literally be the thing that you need to do. And it's it's not that you're really, but you have to be careful about your intent because it's not that you're really giving up something that's really like a sacrifice to you. You could definitely be giving up some things that just you need to get rid of. Like I gave that scenario of going from a five bedroom house down to a studio apartment. You're naturally going to have things that you're going to have to get rid of. And honestly, it would be a blessing for someone to take it off your hands for you to have to deal with trying to get rid of it. But and so you want to kind of think of it that way instead of, oh, I got all this stuff to give away. I'm just all great and mighty and i have all these things and people need these things so i can give it to them no that's gonna get you messed up but if you go into it with the energy of i have access to give and this could bless someone else like that's how you create the energy for your blessings to for your next blessing to come okay so yeah and i feel like too decluttering with the people that you around all right i don't know it could be an air sign because the air energy is heavy Heavy here, all right? Serendipity showed up here at the bottom of the deck. But I'm going to pull one final message before my camera died, my mic died, all that. But I did not mean to be here this long. I don't know, y'all. I get in cancer energy, and I just really enjoy it. I, I love it. I love it here. I hope y'all love it here because I do. I really love y'all. Um, but I'm going to pull a final message for cancers, finances, and career this week, Spirit. What's the final message that you have for cancers? Thank you. So look, <laughs> release and surrender, serendipity. You're going to be happy with just letting it go, giving it up, releasing it, taking that um divinely got it change. It's going to lead to your happiness, your peace. Okay. Look, follow what makes you happy. I'm telling you, it's like, it may not seem like the mo the smart choice or the, um, the right choice, y'all. I get it. <laughs> like, I so get it, okay? I'm going to read this message for serendipity, though. <laughs> it says, your guys and your angels are speaking to, to you through serendipitous events. I'm telling y'all, okay? You've been shouting prayers to the, to the universe, consciously or subconsciously, and the universe is responding by creating situations that seem like miraculous coincidences. Make no mistake, though. These experiences are divinely orchestrated, all right, just for you, just for you, Cancer. Say what? You may be seeing repeating numbers, end up at some place at the right time. You overhear a conversation, a song, or a TV show that holds a message that you've been needing to receive, and so on and so on. That's what I'm saying, y'all. It's like there's going to be a light bulb. It feels like I just you get some type of inspiration from somewhere. That's going to be the light bulb that you needed to like take you forward, okay? But um, it says embrace these experiences as moments of divine intervention and blessings from beyond to help you know which path to take these magical moments are external validations of your own intuitive senses the more that you notice recognize and honor these events the more synchronicities that you will be able to manifest to help you move further along with your path with ease all right the affirmation here, y'all, says, I instantly recognize serendipitous events as messages guiding me exactly where I need to be on my path, all right? You have to recognize this, y'all. My willingness to notice them helps me manifest frequently. Your willingness to take notice to those nudges, your willingness to be open to, oh, I got a sense for this, or, hmm, like, I'm telling you, y'all, you're not getting this stuff on your in, on your mind for no reason. It's not just popping into your head for no reason. Like, you, I'm telling you, you have, to, you have to know that. And there definitely may be some type of ending, something that has to come to an end that you may need to kind of release and let go of. But I feel like this energy of surrender is what brings just a, a sense of peace, all right? No more worries around kind of being... Um, 
with your finances. I feel like, yeah, even though you may be in the state of being uncomfortable now, um, you're moving into a, a state of even deeper comfort that you didn't even realize was available. Like, I'm so excited for you, Cancer. But I'm going to leave it here, you guys. I really, really do hope that the reading resonated for someone. You found it helpful in some way. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Okay, talk to me down in the comments. All right. But do be aware of the scammers. Everything is in the description box below, you guys. Everything you need. Everything. All right. But in the meantime, in between time, until next time, I love you.